Fred Film Radio from the 8th International Venice Film Festival. I'm Ilaria Gomaraska, and I'm, I have the pleasure to be today with Selman Nakar, the director of Hesitation Hund, which is uh, presenting the competition in Horizonti. Congratulations, Thank first you of so all. Much. How do you feel being in uh, Venice with your first film? <laughs> Uh, I feel great, uh, especially I'm here with my cast and crew. And you know, it's not easy to make a film, especially this time, you know, uh, with many uh, economical and other problems. And um, when we finally finished the film, uh, celebrating in Venice, watching the film first time on the big screen with the people who I collaborate, who I work together, uh, it, it feels great. So uh, your film is a trial movie uh, who follows uh, a woman, a woman, uh, a woman uh, sorry, a lawyer uh, who finds herself facing professional and uh, ethics uh, crisis mm -hmm. um, while engaged in the defense of a, of a murder suspect. And uh, I read that uh, you uh, you study law uh, in Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, I understand that your study inspired you for, uh, for the writing. Um, yeah, when I was studying law, I didn't know I was going to make films. Uh, but, you know, uh, it gave me opportunity to read and think about this kind of topics like justice, morality. And uh, when I wanted to make this film, of course, I got help from my law knowledge as well. Uh, without that, I was not able to make this film. But um, I partly like made this film because the character Janan was really interesting for me because she's a person in between things. She's she's in stuck in between things like her personal life and professional life. She was living in the big city and has to, had to come back to a small city. Uh, she has a strong personality, but surrounded by different men in a male-centric world. So, like, um, this kind of, uh, you know, um, challenges she faces was really interesting for me. And that was my starting point. But, of course, uh, the law also really centric uh, point for the film. I think it's... Uh, um it's very peculiar, the writing process for a trial movie, because uh, uh, you have to really find a balance between what uh, what to show about the trial and what not to show, and with the risk of, uh, um, of telling too much uh, or not enough about uh, the case and uh, all the details. Yes. Uh, so how did you find the balance? Yeah, uh, it was a really difficult one because um, I really wanted this to look real. I want audience to feel like as if they are in the trail and then, you know, watching them. So that's why I uh, observe, I went to uh, courthouses a lot, like I observe many cases just to understand the reality. But of course, you know, you cannot just put, uh, take the reality and put in the film. So it has the dramatic points, you know, and uh, cinematic structure. So like I thought a lot about like how I can make it real, but at the same time, you know, something, a story that we can follow. And uh, as you say, uh, just share uh, enough, you know, like, you know, so that people can follow, but also curious about what's going to happen. And uh, that was a really, really difficult process. So I, um, Taught a lot, observing the courthouses, uh, look at the uh, real cases, work on the actors. I did many rehearsals and then try to understand before going to set uh, what should be uh, happen at some point. And also these are long scenes. Like for example, the the first uh, scene is takes place like 20 minutes. So of course you cannot shoot this in like we shot this in one week. So like how I, you know, uh, even though we shoot like in long takes, how do we, uh, you know, divide it into parts? So I divide it in nine parts, for example, in that scenes, so that like what's happening in the each part and what is turning that part and what's happening in the next part. So like I thought a lot about this uh, process. 
Your film is also a sharp insight on today corruption in Turkey on many levels. Um, so are you planning to screen the film in Turkey and how do you think the public will, will react? I mean, uh, I, of course, this is a part of the film, especially in the background, uh, even though we follow the characters, there are things happening in the background. And I, when you talk about like this kind of topics, like justice, morality, it's not possible to not talk about this. So, uh, and I'm a person who loves to, like who is really interested to discover the, you know, how is the system is working basically? What is justice? What is justice for you? What is justice for me? So, and how it's working and how it's not working. So, you know, uh, I wanted to tell a story that doesn't like uh, that could take place in any time and in any location i think in that sense i think it has a universal um uh you know um uh, things too in it uh and uh and this is reality like everyone faces uh with this kind of thing so that's why i think um be we are basically trying to, you know, show subtly and make questions and I don't give answers. So my point is basically to sum up, to, you know, uh, give some questions to people's mind and to make them in a way start thinking about this kind of thing. So I hope the film is uh, going to achieve this. And I'm curious about also how Turkish audience will react. We are looking forward to that. Is this, is it planned to be in a festival in Turkey uh, soon? It's or? not uh, publicly confirmed yet, so I cannot okay. tell. But uh, yes. Okay. okay. I wish you the best for Thank the film. You so Congratulations much. for achieving your first uh, first uh, film, which is very very powerful. And yeah, good luck also for the competition here in Venice. Thank you so much. I uh, thank you very much, Selman Nakar. I'm Ilario Gomarasca. This is Fred Film Radio, the Festival Insider.